An international climate industry expo is currently taking place in Korea's southeastern city of Busan. This year, it's highlighting the importance of achieving carbon neutrality while showcasing various climate technologies from both home and abroad. Her East Sujin has this report. South Korea is moving to further advance its transition into a sustainable, carbon-free society. As part of these efforts, the government is hosting the 2024 World Climate Industry Expo for three days in Busan starting Wednesday under the theme of ushering a carbon-free energy era with climate technologies. This year's expo is also significant because it's being co-hosted by the International Energy Agency. The Korean government working with the IEA hand in hand to put this uh, expo uh, uh, together and the companies, governments, who position themselves rightly in the next chapter of the global energy economy will have an advantageous position. And true to its theme, the climate technologies of more than 180 companies and government-affiliated organizations worldwide are being showcased. RWE, a German renewable energy company, is in attendance to expand its Korean offshore energy pipeline. Offshore energy involves generating energy from resources located at sea, and RWE is known for its offshore wind technology that harnesses power from water-based wind turbines. South Korea is considered a promising market for international companies like RWE due to its ambitious decarbonization goals. We feel Korea has a strong need to decarbonize in order to keep an export competitive economy. Many of the Korean companies have already been exporting many different products, whether they be wind turbine towers. Korean companies have become globally recognized for their climate technology, such as Pasco Holdings with Hyrex or hydrogen reduction steelmaking. There is a huge focus on developing technology that will help achieve carbon neutrality in the steel industry, which is why many companies abroad are showing interest in our Hyrex technology. And in the public sector, Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power was chosen in July as a preferred bidder to build nuclear reactors in the Czech Republic. A model of the APR 1400, the basis for the APR 1000 reactor that's part of the Czech deal, was on display at the event. With demand for climate technology expected to continue growing worldwide as nations strive to transition to a more sustainable future, South Korea is expected to emerge as a leader in the sector with advanced technologies like these. Lee Su-jin, Arirang News, Busan.